redneck boy here. Uh, just got out of the shower. My hair is so soft. And I'm doing laundry right now. Because I'm going to the beach tomorrow. So, hey. I'm thirsty. Is there anything in there? Yeah, look at that little tiny bug. I don't know if y'all could see it. That little tiny thing. It's in my cup. Hey, Rexies. That's my baby girl. What you doing, babies? What? Yes, I took a shower. And I went ahead and put my beard in a ponytail. Since y'all didn't comment, so I went ahead and did it. You get out of my cup. Fine, I'll just drink it this way. There. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a good day. I just came back. Well, actually, it was earlier this morning. I went to go pick up my meds and uh, I stopped at a friend's house. He was having the yard sale. I asked him how much she wanted to sell the four wheeler for, and he said $900. I was like, no, nah, I can't do that. So I decided to come home. I helped my brother weld some things on a car. Finally got the truck running. Uh, I'm just pretty much getting everything ready for tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be a big day. So, I already put up two long videos today. And this is going to be the 89th video. I'm getting close there. So, I know some of you are watching. And uh, I don't know who you guys are, but... Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And, uh, I'd love for you guys to keep watching my videos. Like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel and the videos that I make and stuff like that. I know I gotta do it every day, but today was the very first time I went inside the store while vlogging, pick up my meds. And, uh, it was kind of embarrassing, but oh well, I did it anyway. Who cares? So, yeah. I know it's kind of weird doing it by phone, but if it was a camera, it'd be a different story. So, yes, whatever. So, um, soon later, I'm gonna end up, um, um, um I don't know. I mean, I'm doing laundry right now, so let's go outside. Oh, this computer right here is what I try to vlog, uh, not vlog, edit my videos right here. This old compact laptop, it's got a virus on it, so I don't know how to take that stuff off, so. Oh, it's actually light in here. Oh, I do have a friend coming over tonight. Uh, I guess he's going to be buying a pizza or something. I don't know. Uh, yeah, it feels pretty dang good out here. Look at that sunset. Rex, go get it. Squirrel, squirrel, squirrel. Go get it. This way. Come on. Go get it. No. Over here. Go get it. Go get it. Hurry up. Get it. You don't see it? I seen it. I bet you see it now. What? No. You're going the wrong way. Oh, notification. Come on, Roxy. Anyway, I got that boat there for sale. No title or registration. It's for sale for $150 with the trailer. Tire's still good. But there's no motor in it. So, it's just a shell sitting on the trailer. Finally got this welded on so it doesn't move. It's like on there, on there. 
this bumper so if we get in a crash it doesn't mess up the front end uh, let me go check the mail I haven't checked in the mail in a while I mean I'm trying my best and hardest to entertain you guys but it's whatever see what else I could talk about I do miss somebody I'm not gonna mention her name it's just gonna take us time we're just friends so hold on loud truck coming piece of shit Ford why do you guys keep sending these things Okay. Uh, getting rid of this. And that's only all of it. Look at that sunset, guys. Woo! That thing is bright. Look at that. Roxy. Kicks. Come on. It's really not that hard to train a pit bull when they're that size when you first get them. I got her from somebody that, ugh. I got her from somebody that didn't know how to take care of a pit bull and they abandoned her when they moved out and so I was like, hey, I might as well take her in. She can be good as a service dog for me because I do have seizures and I black out and stuff. So when that happens, she's always laying on top of me. She won't let nobody near me when it happens so she listens to her commands and stuff like that when I first got her she she stunk so bad and uh, I gave her a bath and I started training her right away so I just can't stand how people do that to dogs they're like kids you gotta take care of them <laughs> What the? <laughs> Roxy, get over here. Roxy, come on. Get over here. Roxy, come on. <whistles> come on. Let's go. Come on. What I'm saying is that you guys gotta treat them like your that's your kid. You gotta take care of them. You can't just like not do anything with them. Like you gotta play with them and and uh, have fun with them. It's just they're like kids. I I don't, I don't know how many times I'm gonna say that. I'm just trying to give you guys a point where you guys have to take care of them. Like like her, she's my baby. I always take care of her when my ex left I started realizing what I did wrong this and that and I started doing things cooking cleaning taking care of my dog and doing this and that so it's like she understands where I'm coming from uh, um, that I'm trying to change and change and everything and I have changed so uh, she asked her, um, have you seen anything new in me? And she's like, no, not at all, however she said it, so. I'm really trying to get her back, guys. Y'all don't know how bad I feel just to get her back and everything. So, this is it. Um, look at that beautiful sun going down. I am going to the beach tomorrow again. I'm going to the beach tomorrow. And I will be vlogging for you guys. And uh, let me see. I will be taking pictures. I'll be able to meet new people. It's like a church thing. I'm going to a church thing. I've been in a Mormon for many years and stuff. So I decided to go back for what I did to my ex because I know it was wrong and this and that. So I decided to go back to church. Doing everything right that I can do and trying to get her back. She doesn't know that, but she will be once she 
watches this video. So, that's it. You guys like, comment, share, subscribe this video. If you guys want more videos, please do that. And you guys will have them. Redneck Boy out. Have a good day. Think positive. Always smile more. Don't think negative. Bad things come. If you guys do, always think positive. Good things will come your way. Alright, Redneck Boy out. Peace.